Around 12.30 on Sunday morning, shots rang out in St. Bite Village. Two persons were targeted as they stood among many others at an establishment in the village. As was recounted to News 5 this morning, Ernest Stain was struck once before the gunman turned his gun on Alric Munnings. After Munnings was hit once to the body, the gunman reportedly then stood over Stain and emptied the gun. His sister, Shamadine Jones, got the call around 1 a.m. When I get a call about after one of my sister in law called me and told me they called she and told she they shot my brother dead. I asked her, stop, tell, I, tell, I, tell, I tell her like this, please stop telling her. Like, he said, yes, for true. I tell her, no, he said, yes, for true. And I just turned on my phone and start crying off. And then I don't really sleep. I don't have appetite for eat. Now my oldest brother, my, my oldest picnic. When he shot her, I see he drop. He get over her, finish her. So like, you mean to do it. So definitely no mistaken identity? No, no mistake. If there's a mistake, why? When you shot her, you say I drop. Why you never gone? You walk over her, finish her. No, no mistake. He mean to do it. So I want to know why he do it. Police responded to the scene of the crime shortly after. By that time, Munnings had already been rushed to the Southern Regional Hospital for treatment. He remains in a stable condition at this time. They saw the motionless body of Ernest Steen. Initial investigation revealed that Steen and his friend, um, Alaric Munnings, were with the owner of a bar socializing on their shed. When a lone gunman entered the yard and fired several shots in their direction, fatally injuring a um, stain to the body and Munnings got injured to his neck. Residents say that Stain was no troublemaker and has been living in the village with his common-law wife for about five years. But based on the information shared with the family so far, it is believed that Stain was the intended target. So what's the motive behind the killing? My brother. No fool people. My brother work for home, for work, home, home, work. And I want to ask the person to kill my brother why? What my brother do he? He kill my brother. Cause my brother no fool people. My brother laugh at that to everybody. So I, gotta, I don't want to know why. I just want to ask her why. They don't know how they hurt me. I don't got no more big brother for what I do. I can't tell my brother anything. If anybody tell, tell me anything or do me anything, I got no, no brother for what I talk to. I want to miss my brother. When it comes to the motive for this murder, we haven't gathered much so far. We do have a person of interest that we're searching for. But um, that's as much as I can say on this investigation because this person is not yet in police custody. And um, when it comes to identity of persons wanted and murder, we try not to put too much information out there that could detriment um, the process if this person is found and charged. No? I would want to find the person. We need justice. Gotta kill my brother for nothing. Nothing. Got people saying I have no problem up here with nobody. So why? Dwayne Moody for News 5.